Hello, and welcome back to Davos Video. Today we're going over some new settings before we finish updating our Wikidpad reference. Go to the extra tab at the top of the page, go to Options. On the left hand side, select HTML Preview and Export. Then down where it says Preview Renderer, change it from Internal to IE, which stands for Internet Explorer. This solves a lot of slow to load pages and some chugging you may experience while scrolling through pages. It also enables the middle mouse click option. And there are some features we'll be using later on that simply do not work with the Wikidpad internal preview render. Next, navigate to Advanced in the tree and then select No Cycles in Tree. Make sure that this box is ticked. This prevents Wikidpad from generating infinite cycles in the tree on the left hand side of the page. Now select OK. We jump into editor mode, we can see that Wikidpad is a camel case word, which means that the word begins with a capital letter and somewhere in the word is another capital letter and Wikidpad will automatically turn these into links to new pages. This can be a useful feature depending on how you intend to use Wikidpad. However, in our case, I don't want Wikidpad to turn into a new page, and you can see that it is indicated here in the left of the tree. So we are going to blacklist this word. To blacklist a word, navigate to the Views tab, expand it out, expand Functional Pages, and then navigate down to Global CC Blacklist, Camel Case Blacklist, or Wiki Camel Case Blacklist. If you add a word to the global camel case blacklist, this will blacklist the same words throughout all the wikis built off of the same Wikidpad installation. If you use the wiki camel case blacklist, this will blacklist words specific only to this wiki. For our purposes, Wikidpad is not a word that I intend to use in the future, so I will go to the global CC blacklist. And when adding words to the blacklist, make sure you type each word on a new line. Now, as you can see, Wikidpad is no longer underlined. And if we save the page to update the tree on the left hand side, you can see that the Wikidpad and Juju pages have both disappeared. Now, the last thing for this video is going to be about this structured tree on the right hand side. It's tremendously useful to have a table of contents in your wiki to keep track of all your headers and make it easy to jump to specific information. While this is convenient, once you are deep within the wiki, it can take quite a while to scroll back up to the top of the page or to another location. So in order to streamline this process, I have added the structure page to the right hand side. With the structure page, it functions just like the table of contents. When you need to jump to a specific section, navigate to the section you want and click on it and it will take you directly there. This functions both in the preview mode and in editor mode. Making it extremely useful and easy to navigate through your wiki. In order to add the structure window to your wiki, navigate to your options. In the options tab, navigate to user interface. At the bottom of this dialog, you see Structure Window Position. Change the setting from Hidden to Left, Right, Top, or Bottom, depending on your use case. In my case, I'll keep it on the right-hand side of the page. If you need to expand the width of the Structure Window, you can do so here in the Structure Window Heading Depth. You may also choose to auto-hide the Structure Window here with this tick box. Select OK. That's it for today's video. Come back tomorrow and we'll go over how to make these quick links to your various wikis. If you have any questions or comments about today's material, please let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, have a good day and Godspeed.